Are you ready to dive deep into Earth's history? Buckle up, because we're about to travel through billions of years. We'll explore why some scientists think certain eras were boring and why that's not really the case. So, sit back, relax, and get ready for a fascinating trip down memory lane. Earth's memory lane, that is. But before we get into it, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you want to get notified every time I upload a new video, click the bell icon as well. It really helps me out and I appreciate it a lot. All right, let's get started. So you've heard people say, a movie from a decade ago is so old, or that the 1950s are ancient history, right? Well, let's put that into perspective. Our Earth is about 4.5 billion years old, and the universe itself is around 13.8 billion years old. If we squeezed all of Earth's history into one day, life would show up at 5 in the morning. Invertebrates, like insects and spiders, would pop in at 8 a.m. Humans? We'd come into the picture just a split second before midnight. Now, how do we even know all this? Well, it's because of rocks. Rocks last a very, very long time. Scientists study these rocks and other ancient things like old land formations, fossils, past ecosystems, and ancient climates. This helps them paint a picture of Earth's past. So you know how life on Earth has seen a lot of action. There's actually a time when things were pretty chill. Scientists call this period the Boring Billion, which is between 1.8 billion to 750 million years ago. But hold on, it wasn't really that boring. Despite the name, this boring time was actually full of stuff happening in the oceans. Researchers say it was critical for life as we know it. During this time, there was not much drama or big changes, but it was far from boring. The oceans were teeming with life, helping to set the stage for more complex creatures down the line. You know that famous quote from Winston Churchill during World War II, the one that goes, never in the course of human events has so much been owed by so many to so few, about a major air battle between Britain and Germany. Well, in 1995, a geologist named Robert Buick had some fun with it. He twisted it to talk about a stretch of Earth's history that people call the Boring Billion. The phrase caught on, and now it's how we describe the time from 1.6 billion to 1 billion years ago. But why do people think this time was uneventful? Let me break it down. Imagine Earth as a giant, slow-cooking stew. Around this time, the Earth's core had cooled off, and the ocean was like a broth that needed to simmer. The water was full of sulfur and iron and almost no oxygen. Sounds pretty nasty, right? But this is when the first complex cells, called eukaryotes, appeared. They were mostly chilling in the water, waiting for their time to shine. From the outside, it seemed like nothing much was happening. But actually, inside this soup, a lot of important stuff was going on at the molecular level. Algae started to grow bigger and, in the process, began to produce oxygen, it might not have been action-packed, but it set the stage for life as we know it today. You've probably heard of Pangaea, right? It's that big landmass that existed around 300 to 200 million years ago. But guess what? Pangaea wasn't the first or only giant landmass. Nope, there were six others before it. Their names were Valbara, Ur, Canorlan, Columbia, Rodinia, and Panotia. It's like Earth had multiple attempts at sticking all the continents together before we got the land shapes we recognize today. So, the Earth's crust has been moving and shifting for ages. Sometimes the continents come together, and sometimes they drift apart. All this movement has been going on while life was evolving from simple cells to complex beings like us. All right. Let's jump back to the end of that boring billion period, which was about 750 million years ago. 
Remember how I told you that things seemed pretty quiet during that time? Well, the action really starts picking up after that. The first shells appeared around 540 million years ago. The first plants that grew on land showed up about 430 million years ago. And dinosaurs. They roamed the earth around 220 million years ago, way before the first flowers did, which were like 100 million years later. And get this, grass wasn't even a thing until 35 million years ago. So, while the boring billion might not have had epic dinosaur battles, it did something even cooler. It helped algae grow. Why is algae so important? Well, it's basically the food that feeds the food that feeds us. It's like the main ingredient in Earth's life recipe. Not just that, but algae also makes most of our oxygen. It's a game changer. Over a billion years, algae changed Earth's air and set the stage for a wild explosion of life forms. So, the next time someone says the boring billion was dull, you can tell them it was anything but. So, we've been talking about this period known as the boring billion, right? But guess what? Not all scientists agree that it was boring. Take, for example, some researchers from the University of Aberdeen in Scotland. In 2020, they found clues that glaciers were around during this time. And that's way earlier than anyone thought. Even wilder. Back then, Scotland was where South Africa is now. Imagine glaciers there. Crazy, right? Now, why does this glacier stuff matter? Some think it could be the thing that shook up the so-called boring era. Imagine giant ice sheets crashing into each other, causing tectonic plates to move, mountains to crumble, and all sorts of stuff between the ocean and land to mix up. This chaos might have sparked a bunch of new life forms. Before this glacier discovery, we thought the boring billion was a time when not much happened, right? But it was actually the time when the first complex cells, known as eukaryotes, came into existence. These are a big deal because they're the building blocks of all plants, animals, and even us. The eukaryotes have little parts inside them wrapped in membranes, like the nucleus that holds DNA and mitochondria that make energy. So think about it. If we didn't have this seemingly dull period, we might not have had all the incredible life that followed. That boring time gave the ocean a chance to simmer and get ready for what came next. We're talking about algae, which then made oxygen, which then let life get really diverse and exciting. Bottom line, we might have gotten lucky with this boring billion. If it weren't so stable, who knows, we might not even be here to talk about it. We've seen how Earth has shifted, changed, and evolved over billions of years. From boring times that were anything but, to the amazing discoveries that challenge what we thought we knew. It just goes to show, Earth's story is far from over, and it's certainly never boring. Thanks for joining me on this incredible journey, and remember, there's always more to learn and discover. If you like what I do in here, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.